So I've been watching. I'll, I haven't really been watching my Zelda, but I've been watching Ven. You know who Ven is? I don't. Okay, so Ven is supposedly the best Zelda in the world, and I noticed he has a lot of bad habits. And I try to like pick up on them and see if I actually do those too. And something he does is, and we talked about it, like he uses the Phantom at ledge, and it should only use it in very specific situations. The the thing is with like a top Zelda player, right, or the best considered best Zelda player in the world, right? Um, he's yeah. doing it. He's setting that up for a purpose. You may be like, oh, that's a bad habit, but in reality, he's using it to cover something or to uh, condition something, right? Yeah, um, but he would use it like while he's off stage, not while the opponent's off stage. Yeah, he, he again, um, if he's getting constantly, like if he's putting pressure against the ledge so he can grab the ledge and make sure he's not getting ledge trapped as well, um, Again, there, there's reasons behind what top players do. It's just, it's very hard to tell why they do something until they do it, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. say I, let's say I go for forward smash, right? And you're, you're afraid of that forward smash. Let's say because it's safe on shield or whatever, right? And it's very strong, right? Um, Right. That means you would probably never roll in against me because it it would condition you to be like, oh, if if he hits this forward smash against me, I will die at 80 well, in like a tech situation. So you wouldn't be rolling in, which causes me to be like, okay, if he never rolls in, how about I just run up and dash tack every time every time he rolls away or does a or or does it just a normal tech. And if he misses the tech, that just lets me react to what you do next. Or I can just punish you for not teching by, like, using, I don't know, another move that can hit you while you're on the ground, right? That's, like, a really good example right. of, like, Wolf, to be honest. Because Wolf's forward smash is safe on shield and is strong. And if you were to always roll in on him, he has the forward smash, he has up smash, he has dash attack to cover the roll away he has neutral b to cover just pretty much all of it just safely um that's just a pretty good, good example of like a wolf player for like a tick situation and there's always a reason behind what you do if that forward smash if, if the opponent knows you're scared of that forward smash he's gonna bait it out or he's gonna condition you to not roll in and condition you to roll out so he can get an easy punish by like figuring out another way of killing you instead of using that forward smash. And if he notices that you roll in all of a sudden, that's when he goes for the forward smash punish. When he figures out a layout of what he's going to do to you, that's when you lose. That's why mixing up is so important. You can't have the opponent know that you're afraid of him. If that makes any sense, right? Yeah, you don't want him... Because if you're afraid, it limits your options. Because you wouldn't... Like you said, you wouldn't roll in. You wouldn't roll in because mm. you're afraid he's going to forward smash and kill you at 80. I know a lot of people say rolling in is bad, but it's a good mix-up. Like it's a said. really, really good mix-up. That's the thing. Because no one would expect it. Oh, don't roll in. Guess what? You roll in the one time and they're like, Oh my god, I thought you were going to roll out. Then all of a sudden, rolling out is yeah. a bad option. It's always the mix-up. Right? We can get started, by the okay, way. So, okay, so I'm going to show you like how I'm going to use Phantom offstage. Not when you're on ledge, not when you're offstage, but when I'm offstage and we'll see if it works. Okay. I'm try and experiment with that. Just try to do that against me when, when uh, we're playing here. Aria at 50. Oh my god.
Oh no, I thought I could reach. Oh, you took my jump too on that one. Oh, I'm in a bad Damn. spot now. <laughs> I'm in a very bad spot. There we go. Oh shit, that's a kill move, 100%. I launched. Alright, we both SD'd twice. Let's go. <laughs> I gave you the homie stock. It was the homie stock. No, I don't accept homie stocks. I say I accept SD on X. You have to. You have to. Oh my god, invincibility. The biggest that's, that's comeback the was... ever. <laughs> that's the thing I was thinking about the Phantom. Like, you gotta use it carefully. Yeah, the problem was you used it every single time there. It was like every single time. You gotta mix it up. Okay, I'll mix it up. Yeah. Think about how you're gonna mix it up. the tournament we have to ask you oh i got fourth nice out of what 50 no not 50 it was like 30. that's still a lot uh, yeah it's pretty good i lost to a min min player and then i lost to a yoshi player they were both really good Min Min, problem with like Min Min is like Pyramithra can't deal with the, with the recovery part. But everything else is possible to deal with. But the moment I'm put into a disadvantage state, it's over. That's it. I'm done. Jump call out. Oh, wow.
Oh, wow. Sour spotted the down air. It's because I was using up B and I DI'd up because I was using up B. I mean, even if you DI'd in, I mean, DIing in, you would have died anyway, I'm pretty sure. But there was no kill spark, was there? If there was, I'm pretty sure. If there wasn't, I think there could have been a way, but you have to DI down instead. Because if you DI'd away, you would have died to the side blast zone. If you DI'd in, you would have died to the top blast zone. Which you died to the top blast zone anyway by DIing up, so... Oh my god, one hitbox almost killed me there. Oh, that was very good. That, that was, was very late too. Is. Wow. That was I really good. killed at what, 70? Yeah, I killed at 70. Damn. Max killed at 70. It's Pyra for you. Oh, I haven't even been counting score. Now I think about it. Well, well right now it's right now it's duo. I thought you won one. No. Okay, so you gotta stop using that whatever it's called, flaming edge. When it's when you're at a distance, because it's kinda of getting out of here from off. But you could also bait it out too. Oh I missed my factor. I mean you gotta punish me for it. You can't just tell me that that's a problem and then not punish me. Like you did punish me with Uppy, that was really good, it's just yeah, I have to figure it out on my own. If I don't, I'm just a bad player. <laughs> I'm just bad. <laughs> Got fourth place out of turn. Oh, I thought you were gonna kill me there. Oh my God, am I rolling too much? No, no. I just somehow c covered that option. I knew that was coming. I was trying to approach while shielding too. It didn't really work the way I wanted it to though. Okay, so what move are you using there? Is that an up air? Because it covers so much. Yeah, this is up air. It's very safe too. Yeah, that get up attack was so obvious. That was very poor timed too. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's 3-0, right? 
I gotta make sure I remember. That's why I like type out the score usually. Because I know I'll end up forgetting. That ends up being a problem. I, uh, the moment I saw it, I was like, I knew I made a mistake. I'm going to hit Q. And I'm destroying it. You've improved a lot. You can't even beat you now. It's that tournament, I think. Because I ended up playing really good players, actually. And I was really motivated to beat them. I think Octo would have killed there, whatever. Yeah, it would have. It definitely would have. Did you just style on me? Yes, I just did. <laughs> um, that was sick. That was actually really cool. Oh my god. What was that, a forward, a forward throw to Spike? Uh, I think it was a forward tilt, actually. It's not like I've ever done that before, so you, it's not like it was easy to react to. Let's see how I do on this stage. God, I do not like this stage. This is not a Pyramithra stage, I can tell you that. So. It's the same as Battlefield, right? No, slants really messed me up. Plus, uh, the platform layout is really messed up. Like, the close blast zones are really good for Pyra. But the problem is the the platforms just mess me up because Pyra up B just goes through the platform. So I can't just go up B out of shield you right off ledge here and expect it to hit the landing hitbox. Okay. Okay. Up throw.
Oh, and hell is Oh, I think you air dodged there, didn't you? No, I did down air. Cause I saw oh. I saw an opportunity, and then your down air hit me. Mm. I thought that would have been it. Yeah, Yoshi's is yeah. not a great stage for me. It'd be better if I were pit on that, but. I don't have much of a choice on random, do I? <laughs> no. Lost my fingers, I get all FD. <clears throat> oh, I got C. Dash tech to four smash.
Oh, nice no. pop through. Switch. Just got it in time. Yeah. Mm. Just got it in time. Three, two. So, I might have to do a best of 10 because I have work tomorrow and I, and I should have just said best of 10, but I won't. But that's fine. Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Okay. So I'm just thinking. He is so fucking. <laughs> oh, wrong phantom. Oh, whatever. Did you just read my roll, Ray? Did you play against any Zeldos at the tournament? No, I didn't. Mm, yeah, Zeldos not a really common character. Only online. <laughs> I'm, I, uh, uh, what? What do you mean? He's coming online. Is it because, she, <laughs> is it because of uh, Phantom? No, it's because she's a campy character who is very good online. I really... Whatever. You don't I don't really so? believe in that. No, like I played against Duck Hunt. Oops, what was that? I played against Duck Hunt, Samus. Samus, to be honest, Samus isn't really campy. I think Samus is. I feel like Samus is more close combat than, than campy. Well, when she's sitting across the stage charging charge shot and then going for a forward air because you're trying to jump over the charge shot, I think that's camping. No, I think that's just a read. But she's conditioning you. That is conditioning, yes. Let me... Ariana Grande. I haven't listened to Ariana Grande in a long time. I'll tell you that. There you go. Four two. The call get cut. Uh, what do you mean call get cut? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I oh, was calling me. Hello. 
Okay. Hello? Well, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Ready? Sorry, my brother called, and I don't know what happened to my phone. That was weird. So what's the score? 4-2? Yep. It is Oh, the phantom got me into that hitbox. I don't know what happened there to be. It was the phantom with, yeah, with the piece of the force man. And you clipped me with that. God, all I did was air dodge in, and every single time, I didn't think that you would go for the rule of air dodge read. I did not think that. It's 4-3. To be honest, stages matter so much. Like, I find myself consistently winning on town and, town and city and FD. So if you want, do you want to do sages or no? I mean, do you want to? Yeah, let's do sages. Okay. Alright, let me type out the stage list so we don't have to scroll up. I didn't have it memorized, but not really. Counter breaks. Okay, that's the stage list. Uh, do you want to ban first or should I? Uh, you can ban first. Okay, uh, I ban SB. So FD and what other stage? Uh, do I do you ban do you ban two and then I pick one? Yeah, it should be like that. What was I thinking? Uh, I ban FD and Kellos. You go to town and city. Okay. I think you were thinking, uh, like the starter stages. Yeah, it was. Uh, you ban, you ban one, and then I ban one, and then. And it goes that way. Yep, I was thinking that. <laughs>
Whoops. I thought that was going to be a uh, key. Oh, okay. I guess I just completely missed oh. the ledge. If only that not hit you the other... onto the... The other side of the black stone, but it hits you. Oh my god, I'm being combo. Because uh, I thought I was yeah, going to throw for a whole second, and then I was like, whoops. That phantom was going to hit you, I think, if you didn't. Probably. Be... Yeah, I've been trying to mix up my phantom timings, like, like I, I tried to... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. Uh, what are your two bands? So, uh, my two bands... Uh, small battlefield and and battlefield. Small battlefield and battlefield. Okay, let's go Smashville. All right, what about the okay. Phantom mix-up timing or whatever? So, I've been trying to. So, obviously, when you use the Phantom, you can release it right away. Where you can just wait it out and then let it go off on its own. But what you could do is there's like a specific amount of time where it's still, or after you fully charge it, you can release it. So I've, I, I already showed it to you, I think you forgot. It's where like I charge the Phantom and then I could run forward and oh, then you run forward it, and you like, use it. Yeah, you showed me that. Yeah. Whoops.
there. Okay, yeah, that was on. Whoops. Damn it, even with good DI. Yeah, that was good DI. What's the matter? It was this funny thing I just saw, actually. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Tell so, me. So, me. This, this other guy, he... Um... I was playing this guy earlier. Yeah, what's his name? Like, his game tag. Uh... Did you forget? No, it's, his name is Nazu right here. He's like, give me pit tips to another guy called Vernius, right? Okay. And then Vernius is, just says, use Nair. And then this other guy comes in and says, pay $25 first. And then everyone's like, <laughs> oh my god, you got free coach. <laughs> oh, I thought that was funny. You better not think of me like that. Free nah, coaching or, or pay off money. Like, all right, your bands. I don't want to keep banning the same stages over and over. Cause... Depends on if I want to pick but... it or not. Cause. All right, I won't ban him. So I'll just ban. I'll ban Yoshi's and I'll ban. Uh. Smashville. Yoshi's in Smashville. We're going PS2. Okay. What music do you put for PS2? Oh, I just let I just let it be random. Oh, there's specific music that's so good. Like the Pokemon music is the best music probably in out of all the series. Like even, I kind of like the Legend of Zelda music too, but I like the Zeno music. music is really good. Both of my hits, great. That was very bad DI on my part. Yeah. That killed at 70. Well, it was charged. It was slightly charged. Yeah, it was kind of charged.
<sighs> that is six four. All yours. I had a good oh, start. Mine? No, it. It's six four. You not. You're in the lead, not me. I don't. You just got the six point. What? It was five four before. No. Yeah, but you had. You just scored the point. Exactly. You're you're the one on the left. You're the score on the left. You're keeping track. Oh, I, I'm just so going. I'm just going by who has the most on the left side and who has the least on the right side. You have six. I have six. Okay. Okay. Weird. I thought you had six. Whatever. Nah, man. Uh. So I ban or you ban? I forgot. You ban. You won. I ban. Uh, I'll ban Smashville and Small Battlefield. Let's go Battlefield. That was almost really good. No! Oh, whatever. I spoke too soon. Spot dodge.
Oh my God, I, I'm trying my best here, man. I don't know. I'm trying my best too. What's up, bro? You know? This is <laughs> We're it. both this doing our it. best. <laughs> oh. Oh, right. I'm sorry. So that's just a bunch of pages. So. Uh, I'll ban, I'll ban Smashville again, and I'll ban Battlefield. Let's go FD. Okay. Let's go FD. Do it. If that was Pyra, you would've killed me. You know, why is Mr. Uh, F Smash so weak? Is it me or is it really weak? No, it's faster, that's why. Pyra's is really slow. A lot of that. I got hit you with the front hitbox. That's why you fell out. Can't do that. I'm okay Ooh. with that. I'm not, I'm not making the back with that one. I can't even make it. I can I'm oh. telling you, I don't know what I can do now. This this is just okay. amazing. I feel like okay, so it's just a better matchup for this. Okay, yeah, can, for sure. I just I can do but, so yeah, much you can... defend against uh, Phantom. At this point, yeah, Pyramid, so... I don't know. So I just want to like talk about what specifically are you struggling with? It's just, it's just dealing with Phantom, that's all it is. 
Because then after okay, I dodge so... Phantom, it's just you're the problem. Also, I, I don't mind going FD again. Okay, I just want to talk more. Because, uh, like, so which character is faster, Pyro or Mithra? I actually don't Mithra's know. Mithra is faster, and the fact that I can't get out of the situation of dodging Phantom as well as dodging you at the same time is just a pain in the ass. It's yeah, so bad. I... Okay, so in the neutral, when you when you first have Mithra, it's like Mithra because Mithra is so fast. I have to like bait out when I can use my Phantom because you can literally just rush in and like grab me or attack me. Or dash have to attack, yeah. It. Or dash attack, yeah. So for the most part, I would say like keep using Mithra to rush me down. My and problem, the problem to... is, I did think of that, I did think of that. My problem is, every time I've rushed in after you pulled out Phantom, is just re a result of you throwing out Phantom immediately, which is something I just can't deal with. Because, I, yeah, I can just go in and dash tank, but the moment you see me approaching, it's just throw out Phantom and I trade with you, and I just lose, I lose the trade. It's not worth it. I don't deal enough, I don't deal enough damage. And I'm, but I'm put in an even worse position because now I'm either off stage or I'm up in the air while you're down on the ground still, which can send up another phantom. And that's why I try jumping over, but then you go for the up air. It's not worth it. Uh, every time, every time you get more stage control off of it, it's just not worth it. Yeah. I I have I'm thought gonna... of it. I kept trying. It's just not working. I I need to switch up the matchup. It's not worth it. Yeah, I can see why you're frustrated. Uh, I, I just want to point out like a couple weaknesses of Zelda and how I play around them and how you can like use that to your advantage. That's why that's weaknesses. why I'm pulling out Pit actually. I know I know what the weaknesses are. It's just Okay. Pit is just a so, much better way of dealing with it. Arrows cancel Phantom. You can't throw out Phantom because I can reflect it. It just cancels out Phantom and it forces you to play neutral out instead of oh i'm gonna camp with phantom and that's just how i have to deal with it that's the matchup it's either i approach yeah. you or i get a ton of shield pressure and then i have to choose between oh are you going to land behind me with a with a what was it a lightning kick and, or are you yeah, going it's... to land in front of me with a lightning kick and then you're going to challenge me again right after which i don't have an out shield option to punish because phantom's right in front of me it's just not worth it. I can't do it. I have to go pit. So, I've played against lots of pits online, but I'm sure yours will be different. I think Zelda wins the matchup versus pit because Zelda wins versus most reflectors because people just think you can reflect the phantom. But no, my so I have a I have a different idea. I know how I can beat out Phantom. Trust me, I I have my idea. I know ways. Okay. I have ideas on getting around it. I've played multiple Phan uh -huh. I've played against multiple Zeldos with Phan I haven't played multiple Zeldos with Pyromithra, and I'm just seeing the matchups being really poor. I can see Zelda winning one plus one. And that's it. If if not, it's even. There's no way. <laughs> Maybe I'm being biased, but I don't think Zelda wins. I think Zelda I right. think Zelda wins plus one or it's even. Well, it's up for debate. But anyways. For Pit, I think Because uh, Zelda has so much mix ups with Phantom, she can literally like be at a distance and decide whether or not to use Phantom and she can use that to her advantage. So, just a heads up, like, don't always, like, think you can reflect the phantom, because I might just, like, go for I'm not a even, it's not even focused I'm like... on, I'm not even focused on phantom at that point. I'm just trying to take down phantom. Pit arrow, ugh, I don't want to give away my fucking strats, man. I don't yeah, want to give away. Yeah, pit arrows are really, no, it's okay. I mean, we're just talking, but, like, pit arrows are really good, too. Uh, espe like, especially, uh, what's it called? 
like Falco, like if I play against a Falco and he just uses his lasers, his like lasers it just me to approach. destroy Phantom. That's the whole point, Pet. Yeah. Because uh, Pyra, yeah, she has the blazing end, but she, uh, the moment you figure out when I'm going to use it, I'm at a disadvantage again. It's not worth it. I can swap between the two no matter how many times, and I still can't get out of the disadvantage state without having to deal with some shield pressure, and then having a problem right after, because you can just pull the phantom right out again. It's, it's, it's all phantom, man. I really do think it's just all phantom, and I know ways to get around phantom with pay. I've done it before. Okay, so... I'm confident in this Let's matchup. see how... I don't want to be overconfident, though, because I do feel like Zelda wins this, but we'll see. Please prove me wrong. Nice. Oh, nice reflector. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean to use side B there. That's, oh, that's gonna. I don't actually know what your side B does. All I know is that it's a reflector and it does something. Eight, five. That was good. You made a lot of adaptions throughout the game. Uh, I couldn't 
So just one thing is, like, I would try to cover my weakness by using a revolve. Because one weakness of Zelda is if, she, if an opponent is in her face, she's really weak. So you just have to watch out for the new gloves in particular. Yeah, I know I know you like using it a lot. So it's not really an issue, I just need to focus on the timing on how I'm punishing it. Didn't mean to get up attack. And you're sniping me with these arrows. You're like an archer. Trust me, I know. I know a lot of people tell me that. <laughs> oh god, you got me. See, Phantom is no longer an issue because arrows are literally the savior of the pit. If I can hit my arrows, Phantom doesn't exist anymore. The issue of Phantom is gone the moment I'm able to hit my arrow. I don't think Zelda wins this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try and prove you why. It's because Zelda has a mix up between Phantom and teleporting in. She can still win if she can call off the arrows. Arrow doesn't have like, I'm gonna lag try the moment it hits something. That's the problem you're having there. I'll hit the phantom and get away with the arrow for free. That's why it's such an issue. And if I'm able to use my arrow in the air, I virtually have no arrow and lag. I, there's minus three.
it's a really late hitbox for me. I forgot I'm not Pyromethra. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you were trying to reflect the phantom, but then you grabbed the left. No, I, I shouldn't have tried to reflect phantom. It was way too late. I did it right after. Yeah, that, that's a rip. Eight seven. Point, at that point, I'm just calling it a matchup, an experience, or it's just phantom. I don't no, know. No, I can beat you. Uh, Zelda wins this round. I don't swear. Think, I don't think Zelda wins this. I just don't play against a lot of good picks. Oh, I jabbed you. You got your second one out. Right now, I'm gonna jump back and use my phantom, but you're gonna arrow. So, knowing that you're gonna arrow, I can like. I can like teleport in. I was trying to get my up B on you, but I didn't know where. It ain't. Victory. I think it's the matchup, man. I really think right. it's the matchup. It has super armor on, on side B. So, anything you do, in terms of being really late on ledge trapping, it won't affect me because, again, Phantom is coming at me. Again, Phantom is the whole reason I lost that match, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I know.
Nice, nice back air. Thank you. Oh, how did that miss me? Yeah. Oh my god. Nine Telling me that I go to sleep. I feel like a little kid and my parents tell me to go to sleep. Funny that I, if I spiked you there. <laughs> yeah, I would have died if you spiked me there. No, I have no jump. <sighs> nine, nine. Victory. Do you want to see my other pocket pick? <laughs> yeah, that's Samus. <laughs> no, it's not Samus. It's someone else. 
I was just someone else. Um, I have to go change my controls though, because I don't have the controls here. Oh, damn. Whatever, yeah. we'll play it later. Personally, I think ZSS is also like a bad matchup for Pay. So I would go Pirate Mithra for that. But at this I point, we're, it, man. at this point, we're just we're just playing by matchup. Yeah. Okay, let's just call it a day nine nine. We both tie. <laughs> nine nine tie. Anyway. I yeah, I have to go to sleep. And I'm sure you don't want to see my peach, my peach or Daisy. Oh, I can. To do be that. honest, no one. Likes... I can do that actually. To be honest, no one likes Daisy. <laughs> peach is yeah, better. No, no one likes Daisy because Daisy's annoying. All right, man. Okay. You know how to leave a review well, and all that stuff. I'll text you when the report card is done. It's pretty much... There's really not much to say on the report card. Uh, I mean, I'll bring something up, if anything, from... If I remember anything, to be honest. But, um... If anything, it'll just be yeah. fundamentals, and then it will have... You pretty much did good. See you next session, I guess. Because <laughs> this is yeah, really just practice session. Yeah, you take care and have a good night, okay? You too. Yeah. Goodbye. See ya. Yeah.